Hi, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzalo Z and in this new video, I'm going to show you how to edit an outdoor portrait and giving a dramatic fantasy look. So let's get started. Okay, this is the picture I'm going to edit and uh, I just want to increase the background blur as I uh, say that I want to create a dreamy effect. Uh, for this I just want to increase the background blur just a little and for this you need to copy the background layer twice by pressing command and J or control and J twice okay so one is for subject and one is for background blur okay in the subject layer we need to separate the subject so for this you need to select the subject first and you can use this option from here or you can uh, use any selection tool and here you will get the select subject option just hit the select subject and look at this i think the photoshop has done a great job but we need to fix it in this area and this area okay okay so for this i'm gonna use polygonal lasso tool look at this we need to add this section into the selection for this just press control shift you will see a plus icon that means now you can add this part like this okay and to remove any part press control option or alt key and you will get a negative icon and then just remove that part press and hold option key make a selection and now look at this okay so take your time and fix this area very carefully okay so i think it is done it looks good here it looks good here okay no problem i think it's done so now just hit the mask option so now look at this if you hide this tool layer you can see your subject so this is your subject now active the background blur layer press and hold command or control key and click on the mask to get back the action okay now i want to expand the selection just a little go to the select modify and select expand and i'm going with 25 pixels maybe you need more or less it depends on your resolution or size of your picture so 25 pixel works just fine okay now right click on the mouse and you can use content hour fill also you can use generate fill but i'm go uh, i'm going with content hour fill because generative fill takes more time so i think it's done it looks really good okay if you hide the subject layer now you can see your background but the edges are not perfect right okay we will fix it you can fix the edges from here or you can just active the subject layer and then select the background layer and now zoom in and now you can use uh, clone stamp tool easily so uh, press and hold option key to pick the sample area and now paint like this so press and hold option key pick the sample and paint it's not that complicated okay pick sample from the similar areas okay i think it looks good now it looks it looks good I don't think is there any problem so also you don't need to fix the edges from the upper part because we will blur uh, that part okay so now uh, click on the background blur you can I, you can convert it to a smart object then we will apply the blur go to filter blur uh, blur gallery and then select the tilt shift and now bring it down and set the area let's increase the blur value okay let's so look at this i think this looks good this looks good so look at this this was the before and this is 
after it looks good and the transition of the blur looks just fine okay now come into the effects option and you can add bokeh like this okay it looks ugly now come into the light trans option here are two uh two triangle the black part will control the darker area of your picture and the white uh, white triangle will control the white part of the picture now look at this it looks really really good it looks really good so i'm happy with the result i think the blur looks good and also the bouquet looks really really good so when you're ready hit okay okay so look at this this was the before and this is after it looks nice okay now i'm going to merge all the layers into a single layer and then color grade so for this press and hold shift command option key and e now look at this the layer one the new layer then convert it to a smart object and open it our camera raw for color grading okay okay let's decrease the highlights may be little and in Increase the shadows, pump up the shadows a little bit to bring some more. You can control the, you can increase the contrast here and also the brightness. Now look at this. This was the before and this is up there. And to increase the highlight uh, whites a little here. Okay, that's good. And I to increase the vibrance and it looks good okay now come to the color mixer option and i want to decrease the hue of the green and make it a little bit orange -ish. and also the yellow color look at this look at the changes it looks really really good i think and i want to increase the luminance of the orange look at the skin right now look at this so i want to increase the brightness of the orange here a little bit and decrease the brightness of the greens and yellows okay so look at this this was the before and this is up it looks really really good right now oops okay come back to the color grading option and in the shadows i wanna add a little let's add this type of color very very little saturation 10 and in the highlights i want to add also very little saturation so look at this very very little changes here now coming to the calibration and i want to bring the blue primary hue to the minus 13 it looks good and increase the saturation very little and also in the green primary i'm going with plus five and in the blue primary i'm going with minus five in here that looks good so that's eight and now okay let's create a you can create a vignette effect from here but i think i think but i think let's create it from the mask option and then radial gradient and make a selection like this but we want to invert this selection for this just hit this three uh, dot and you will find a invert mask option look at this the selection has changed okay now i want to bring the exposure really really down okay and also the shadows maybe so now look at this this was the before and this is after this was the before and this is after. okay now i want to create a selection of the subject so uh, create new mask and then you will find select subject option okay now your subject is selected and you can increase the exposure and also the little highlights to make it little shiny i think this one looks good so that's it look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really really good the all the focus is now on the subject okay now height okay okay and now i am gonna create a gradient map here and i am gonna use 
the legacy gradient and this one okay like at this okay if you don't find the legacy gradient just go to the window and here the gradients and now just click on this icon and you will find legacy gradient just click legacy gradient you will find all the gradient of the previous version of photoshop okay so that's fine now i want to change the blending mode to soft light and decrease the opacity to around 35 to 30 percent look at this this was the before and this is a it looks really good now i want to create another gradient map and this time i'm going with a black and white but it looks ugly just hit the reverse and it's done change the blending mode to soft light and decrease the opacity to around let's go with 20 to 25 percent this was the before and this is a, okay let's go with 20 percent that's fine that's good okay if you want to uh, make more darker here just create another gradient and make it little darker you can do it now i'm gonna uh, create a color balance adjustment layer and in the mid in the mid tones i'm gonna use little reddish color so i'm going with let's go with plus 10 and here i'm going with minus 9 and in this case i'm going with plus let's go with plus 10 and in the highlights just decrease the red very very little and i'm going with plus 4 i think this one looks good so now look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really really good so this is the before and this is after okay now i'm gonna apply a dose and burn effect uh to the subject to the skin and for this you can use any method you will uh, get a lot of tutorial and tricks uh, to apply shine or dose into the skin and uh, now i'm gonna use just a curves like this click on the mask press command and i to hide the effect press b to select the brush a soft white brush yes the foreground color white opacity let's go with 10 flow 25 that's good no problem and now just paint gradually and add the shine let's increase the opacity a little more So now you can paint on the eyes. So now look at this. This was the before and this is after. You can always decrease the opacity and make it realistic. Look at this. Look at the shine. It looks really, really good, I think. It looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to add a sunlight from this area and it will get the downloading on the video description. Okay. Change the blending mode to screen and look at this. Press and hold shift or option key to make it bigger. So I think it looks good. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. You can go like this. Okay. And for the final task, I want to add another overlay, go to the file, then place embedded and you will get the download link in the video description. You can make it bigger and change the blending mode to screen and it looks really, really bad. Don't worry. Let's use it beneath the light layer. Press command and L to bring the levels and select this point and bring it to the right side and look at this now look at this i think okay now look at this it looks really really beautiful okay if you want to remove the effect from the page just create a mask here press b to select the brush and paint with a black soft brush let's 
increase the opacity and flow and I think it's done it's done so that's it look at this this was the before and this is after it's done so I hope you love this video if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe